Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here, and today we're going to be doing another Gaff Dex 101 video. This episode, we're going to talk about the invisible deck. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Advice for Magicians, where the goal is to help you to take your magic to the next level. I started a series not too long ago called Gaff Dex 101, where I talk about some of the cool gaffed decks that are out on the market. In the last episode, we talked about the Svengali deck, and in today's episode, we are gonna talk about the Invisible deck. Now, this is a special deck of cards uh, with a very specific purpose, and that purpose is to have a spectator choose a card, you spread through the deck, and then there's one card uh, facing a different way than all of the other cards, and that one card happens to be the spectator's chosen card. Now the really cool thing about this is that it's instantly reset. I take the deck, I put it right back in, and now it is ready to be done, uh, performed to another spectator, and this card can be completely freely, cho uh, fr freely chosen. There's no forcing, no fishing, no guessing, none of that stuff. You can do the trick over and over and over and over and over again, and it works every single time. But how? We're gonna talk about that right after these announcements. So if you're not already doing so, please make sure to click the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell. That way you will know every time I upload a new video. Also keep in mind that this channel is sponsored by you. So all you have to do is just click the join button below and for just $1 a month, you guys will get access to a bunch of awesome stuff, including magic tutorial videos, early access videos, emojis, badges, and more. All that for just one dollar a month. In fact, I'd like to welcome a couple of our newest members. So ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to Bob Possible and Manuel Vasquez. Thank you guys so much for joining. Bob actually reached out to me. Uh, I'm following him on TikTok and all that stuff. He reached out to me the other day to let me know how excited he was to find my channel and all that good stuff. So Bob, I hope you are really enjoying these videos. Thank all of you guys, all of my subscribers and all of my members for helping to continue and support this channel. So let's talk about this invisible deck. The presentation usually goes something like this. You know what this is? This is my invisible deck of cards. Do me a favor, go ahead and take this and give it a shot. Wait, you gotta take it out of the box first. There you go. Go ahead and give the cards just a little bit of a mix. Perfect. Now I want you to spread the cards out right in front of you. Look at the cards and think of any one of those cards. Keep it in your mind, not out loud. Just think of any one of those cards. You got one? Perfect. Now I want you to go ahead, take that card out of the deck, show it around so everyone can see. Take the card, turn it around so now it's facing the other way. Stick it back inside the pack, close up the pack, put it back inside the box. Spectator does all that. Perfect. Now, <clears throat> I actually have another deck of cards right here. If this worked out perfectly, you should have one card turned over in your invisible deck, and I should have one card turned over in my visible deck. Which card did you look at and memorize? Spectator says any card that they want. That's really interesting because if I look here, inside of my deck of cards, right, um, all the cards are facing the same way too, except for one, and that card is the six of hearts that matched your card, or whatever card they chose, right? So <clears throat> the way that this works um, is it is a special deck of cards that takes advantage of something called rough smooth. Now, rough smooth is a is a type of gimmick that magicians will use when they don't want cards uh, to separate or groups of cards to separate, right? So some cards are hiding behind other cards. So all the magician has to do is just spread till they find the spectator's chosen card, peel it out from the rest of the cards, and now it's gonna look like the the cards are all facing one direction except for the one that the spectator chose. Uh, there's very specific way that this trick works. Um, I'm not gonna go into the nitty gritty details of this. If you guys wanna learn how to use this deck, I recommend you check it out. It's called an invisible deck, also known as an ultramental deck. 
but it takes it takes advantage of that one principle that I told you guys about of rough smooth. Now this isn't the only deck that does this. There are several gap decks out there that take advantage of this principle. And we're gonna be talking about one of those gap decks again next week. So the invisible deck is super powerful. It's even been used by some of the great magicians in the world. Uh, Bill Malone is a perfect example. Bill Malone does a presentation of this that will have you rolling on the floor laughing. In fact, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below so you can go check that out. Uh, watch the master himself at work performing this routine. It really is a killer piece of magic. I highly recommend you guys check it out, learn how the routine works, and go out and perform it because it's really great. This can be done pretty much anywhere. It can be done in any environment. You can do this at a restaurant. You can do this strolling um, like a cocktail event with no table. Uh, you can do this in a close-up situation with the table. You can do this in a parlor situation. I have even seen magicians do this on stage because it's not so much about the card trick of the, itself. It's about the interaction that you have with the spectator. The spectator pretending to shuffle an invisible deck of cards and holding up an invisible deck and showing an invisible card around to the audience. It's all of these things that make it fun. And that's just like the general presentation with it. There are so many other things that you can do, right? Um, but here's the thing, your invisible deck, since it's taking advantage of that rough, smooth principle, it cannot be handed out to the spectators to examine. You will need to uh, switch the deck for another one. If you guys would like to learn how to do that, check out the Gaff Decks 101 video where I talk about the Svengali deck. I teach you guys a really cool way to switch the decks so that you can hand it out and it can be examined and all of that good stuff. Or if you are a member, you can check out my switcheroo deck holdout tutorial where I teach you guys how to do a deck switch uh, using that gimmick setup. Uh, really quick, really easy, switch one deck for another one. That works perfect uh, with an invisible deck if you want to use one. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was informative for you. I hope it was a great introduction to the invisible deck and I hope that you guys purchase one and I hope that you guys go out there and perform it because it is awesome. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, make sure to click the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell. That way you'll know every time I upload a new video. If you'd like to check out some more magic, visit us at obrienmagic.com and be sure to check out our online magic shop where you will find the latest and greatest magic books, downloads, and accessories.